Today we're going to show you the impact that an adjustable driver loft sleeve can have on your tee shots. I've got a 9 degree head here, G410 Plus, going to adjust it up to 10.5 and, and compare that to the standard 10.5 degree head. We'll hit shots on TrackMan and we'll show you all the information. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and tell us in the comments what adjustments you've made to your driver. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Taylor Ledwine, a master online fitter at Second Swing. And today we've got a fun one. Um, we've got a driver test head to head, mm -hmm. but we're gonna kind of basically show the impact that uh, adjusting your driver can have. So you're very familiar with op or optimizing the driver block by going up mm -hmm. and kind of closing the face at the same time. So I've got a nine degree head that we will increase the loft to 10 and a half. Uh, and then we've also got that 10 and a half degree mm -hmm. standard, but Please kind of enlighten the viewers because I know the adjustable sleeves and, and the hosels are kind of a, you know, an out there topic for a lot of golfers. So mm -hmm. maybe educate them on what actually will happen when we move this nine degree head up to 10 and a half. So with the 10 and a half, it's pretty square to dress. Yeah. Um, so like I have a 10 and a half degree head, mm -hmm. but like we're going to do with the nine and a half, I move it up a whole degree and a half yeah um because i want that little bit more height and to close the face yeah just a little bit um so that's why i don't play the straight 12 because it's going to be a pretty square right. um face so right. that's a nice benefit of getting you know like a different loft than maybe what you want or what you need if you struggle with hitting it to the right because that's going to help with it right right so the, the kind of the the essentially what, what happens here is the if you go up and loft with your i guess on the ping hosel in particular yeah if you go up and loft you're actually closing that face just a little bit kind of giving you a bit of a bias to the left, I guess, or if you're a left-handed player, a little bit biased to the right. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it helps kind of maybe fight a right miss. And I know you're a great example. If you've watched yeah. Taylor's What's in the Bag video, you know that her driver setups is a little unique. She's got a 10 and a half degree club head, but she plays it at 12 to close that club face and stop the right miss. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna kind of show that impact a little bit. We got Ping G410 Plus heads. Again, 10 and a half standard, and then nine degree head adjusted up to 10.5 so mm -hmm. what do you think we're going to see in the performance maybe whether it's dispersion or maybe it's the the numbers what do you think we're going to see um i think maybe well obviously in dispersion yeah what we would expect to see yeah. was with the nine degree head um to be maybe a little bit further left than the yeah. 10 and a half just because we are kind of closing that club face a little more yeah. Um, you know, they are going to kind of play the same loft and everything. Yeah. So the numbers, um, if I had to guess, I mean, kind of similar because they will yeah. play to the same loft. So maybe yeah. mainly just in dispersion, we'd see kind of mm -hmm. that difference. Okay. Well, we will use the same exact golf shaft. It's a Tensai orange and a stiff flex. So Taylor will hit the shots. We'll go with eight with each setup. We'll come back then. We'll look at the data and see what it tells us. You ready to hit some shots here? I'm ready. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Be a little bit low on the face with that one. Yeah, that one was a little bit lower. That one went high. Yeah, it did. But wow. I also went 250 yards. When I feel like I hit that way higher a, up than the yeah, other ones. It was a little high, uh, high knuckleball. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Taylor, uh, mm -hmm. interesting test here. Um, first of all, I wanted to ask you before we even talk about the numbers. Did you notice anything visually? Like, did you see, you know, the nine degree head that was? Did that, did that look more close to you at, at address, or did you not even notice it? Uh. Honestly, I didn't even really notice yeah. it. Uh, unless it's like significantly noticeable, I don't really pick mm -hmm. up on stuff like that. Yeah. So I didn't notice it. And I guess but... it's probably a little similar to kind of what you're used to playing anyway. Yeah. So maybe it didn't quite trigger it. Yeah. But um, so we've got some numbers here. And mm -hmm. I think to me, there's there's a couple things that jump out. But, you know, we'll show a dispersion in a second. But that didn't, I mean, there are 
you can kind of see some left bias. Like your consistent shot was a little straighter. Yeah. But like, I mean, we didn't expect numbers to be that different. That was kind of what you said. Right. In terms of the distance and the speed and stuff. Our ball speed's actually the exact same. Mm -hmm. Um, and then our distance was a little bit different because of that spin number. That, right. Um, is, but I think the one thing that jumps out at both of us here. Yeah, so when we're kind of closing that face and going mm -hmm. to the left, that brings the spin down, which would then make sense with the plus one and a half, which we said was going to help close the face, that we're seeing the 600 less spin, right. which then is leading to more distance. So. Right, right. It's, it's it giving you more rollout, mm -hmm. uh, so you can kind of see, you know, three yards in carry, but then in eight yards in total is the difference. And then the other part, part is the face angle. So yeah. Uh, you're actually, that face is closed by more than a degree mm -hmm. uh, with this closed kind of nine degree up close 1.5. So it's, it is closing that face a little bit and that is resulting in the ball kind of starting a little bit more left than uh, the shots with a standard 10 and a half degree. So yeah. it's starting a little bit left, but we can kind of bring up the dispersion here. That's where things get a little bit interesting because mm -hmm. it's kind of, well, first you're the, the uh, plus 1.5 on the nine degree was more consistent for you. Yeah. And then we can also see how that distance also was created. But it is funny to see kind of how there's like, there's more white dots left of center. Mm -hmm. There's four of them compared to two. But then you also have almost those three on the, you know, far kind of 15 yards right there. Yeah. With the white that, uh, I mean, it's interesting to see how it was, it was kind of similar, but kind of different. Yeah, I think, you know, with those two kind of so far left with the 10 and a half that we mm -hmm, hit, mm -hmm. I just didn't hit those very well. I mean, yeah. just that was just a over the top kind of close the face on them. But uh, yeah, you can see with the nine and a half, it is a little bit for me easier to get it yeah. a little bit more square, um, even a little bit of a draw. So that's why I prefer to play that in my driver. Um, those three with the nine and a half up one and a half degree. It's interesting that, I mean, even though they went to the right, they went that much further than the yeah. 10 and a half degree. Um, but even though there's those little ones over there, uh, mm -hmm. that's what I'm looking for in my driver, kind of yeah. right down the center. Um, hopefully, you know, when I'm playing, but right. that's why I like mine up that one and a half degree. Yeah. I think there's actually, I want to bring up one thing now that I just thought of. So you mentioned kind of how there was this bunch of shots here, these five really orange dots that you went right with, right? Yeah. Um, and you can kind of, you're pointing out that you know, with, you know, those white dots with the nine degree adjusted driver mm -hmm. that they went, yeah, about as far right, if not maybe a tad further right. Yeah. But they, they went further because all these, the spin is still low, right? Mm -hmm. The spin on all those is in the low 2100s or even lower, whereas with these ones, You've got it up in the mid to high 2000s with all of those. So perhaps that might be one thing to think about too, is yeah. if you're trying to keep spin low and we talk about adjusting that, that face, perhaps keeping that spin low is one, you know, one reason to make that adjustment. And I'm, I imagine you've probably seen some of that too in your gamer yeah. when you adjust it from 10.5 up to 12 and close that face with yours. Right, and that's like, I mean, I miss right, so I'm going to mm -hmm. get more spin the way it is, and that's yeah. why I like to play the LST, because mm -hmm. it, when I am missing to the right, it, it's helping me bring that spin down as also as the plus one and a half degree. Yeah. So it's just kind of figuring out what works for your game, where don't just go to a ten and a half degree because you want that little bit higher yeah. you know, launch. Like, you can do a nine and also help fix maybe some other things you're dealing with in your swing. Right, so. right, exactly. So that's why, I mean, that type of thing is not... Um, you're not going to find that answer without going into a fitting and mm -hmm. trying things out um, or speaking with someone like yourself who um, is well versed in that kind of space yeah. and understands the different adjustments because uh, for here, I mean, clearly, and I know the fitters that we have on videos will always ask golfers, which oval do you like up there? Yeah. I think for your sake, it's, it works out nice in this video because mm -hmm. you play that same adjustment. So to see that the white circle be a little bit better there for you uh, makes a lot more sense. And it's a big reason why getting fit and even taking advantage of that adjustable hosel that's on your driver is so useful. Yeah, it is. And, uh, you know, um, some people don't kind of know the benefits of that. So yeah. um, in fittings, we try to just explain, like, you know, why you would go with one over the other. Yeah. So it is a nice feature um, that most drivers have. Uh, so it's, it's great to have. Mm -hmm. Well, golfers, if you maybe have a driver in your bag, you're not really sure what adjustment that you need to make with that adjustable house to take full advantage of the equipment in your bag you know what to do right you can schedule your fitting at second swing bring in your current driver will help you out with it or 
we can give Taylor a call or any one of our online master fitters, and they'll explain all the settings on your driver and help you pick the one that will help you hit the furthest and straightest tee shots. So Taylor, thank you for joining today. Uh, pretty fun demonstration here. Yeah. Again, helping people understand that taking advantage of those adjustable hosel uh, on their driver can be a big benefit. Yeah, thanks for having me. And you know, I'm hoping to help some golfers in the future try to figure out which one works best for them.